This is a non-inverter type aircon. <laughs> and when I turn it on, and it goes like this until it senses that the room is at a certain temperature. And when the room reaches the right temperature, it just stops. That's it. But eventually the room starts to warm up and then <laughs> and this is an inverter type and when I turn it on kasing lakas pa rin. but when it reaches the right temperature it doesn't stop steady lang siya inaalagaan ka lang niya. So, nakikita natin saan ba dun ang mas nahihirapan ka or costs more energy. The other one, I was more tired. Oh yeah. So, yeah. That's the biggest difference. Not inverter, inverter. And that's why inverter aircons save you electricity. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to save electricity and money when it comes to air conditioning units. So first, which should we choose? Do we go for the more expensive inverter type aircon or do we go for the cheaper option, which is non-inverter? Well, the answer for me is fairly simple. If you're going to use it more than four to eight hours a day, go for the inverter type aircon. It saves you money in the long term by saving you electricity. Now, non-inverter type aircons actually make sense for rooms na hindi masyadong ginagamit. But for our home, inverter lahat ng ginamit namin because we're using all the rooms almost all the time. Well, except for Chris. Ayo talaga niya gumastos for air conditioning. So, electric fan lang sa kanya. Well, mas tipid, electric fan. <laughs> The beauty of having inverter type aircons is that although pareho sila sa non-inverter sa simula, <laughs> yung example natin kanina. Pagdating sa saktong temperature, nagtatrottle down si inverter, meaning you're saving electricity. And that is also why whenever I leave this room for like 15-30 minutes to have quick lunch, quick snack outside, I don't need to turn this off because I actually am saving more electricity by keeping it on so that hindi na siya mag-ramp up ulit. Yung ramping up portion is the heaviest when it comes to electricity consumption. Next step to consider is the size of the room that you're trying to cool. For example, this is our very, very huge six or six and a half horsepower aircon because it's trying to cool a very, very big space. Kasi walang point guys, even if naka inverter type kayo, if the aircon is kulang sa capacity, it will just be ramping up and ramping up and ramping up all the time without making any significant effect on the room. So make sure to consult your aircon supplier on what size of aircon is ideal for your room. Typically, yung mga small rooms namin is 2 horsepower. Yung big room namin, yung master bedroom, is 3 horsepower. This is double that, 6 horsepower, because it's cooling, again, a very, very big space. So if you're noticing a trend here, we're trying to give the aircon the least amount of work as possible. And the biggest factor for that is insulation or keeping the heat out. May electric fan pala kami guys dito sa room namin. It's our hack. We'll talk more about that later. But first, the easiest type of insulation is just to keep your curtains closed. So, gusto niyo mag-save, keep all the curtains closed so that it insulates the heat from coming into the window. So when we first moved in, hirap na hirap pa rin yung aircon namin because yung master bedroom was all glass. So, napilitan kami gumastos ng ganito. If you notice, meron siyang hint of blue compared to the one at the back. And that is because meron tong nano ceramic coating that helps insulate from the heat outside. And it's helpful but expensive. Napilitan lang talaga kami. <laughs> so for those of you na walang choice, kailangan talagang insulate kasi sobrang init, ito is another hack. But again, expensive. Another thing to consider when it comes to insulation is this. Yep, our roofs and our ceilings. 
Now, when we were first building this house, alam namin, oh, we're going to be living in a glass box. So we invested in a very, very thick roof insulation called PU foam. It was two inches thick. Ito yung ginagamit sa mga refrigeration plants or mga refrigerators natin sa bahay to keep the heat out. And I feel like it really helped bring down the cooling cost of our home. Pero what if tapos na yung bahay nyo and feeling nyo kulang pa rin yung insulation ng bahay nyo? Nafe-feel nyo na nanggagaling sa taas yung init? Well, meron tayong solution for that. Wow. This is the Stay Cool Thermal Insulation from SCG, which is our sponsor for today. More on SCG later. But, ito yung perfect solution for those of us na tapos na yung bahay, pero we want to add additional insulation. This is fairly lightweight, and it's protected. Yung insulation niya, ito yung nasa loob, and then it's protected by this outer layer. And it's non-combustible, so it's fairly safe to put in mga ceilings natin. And this is the perfect DIY project, especially for those of us who have access to our ceilings. Pasok lang natin to and call it a day. See? Sobrang gaan, so it's just super easy to install. This is the SCG Stay Cool Thermal Insulation. So when we were able to travel, well, the good old days, ang hobby ko was to look at construction sites uh, to see their construction methodology. And there was this brand in Thailand that I kept on seeing over and over and over again. And it was SCG or Siam Cement Group. So when they contacted me, I immediately asked, ito ba yung palagi kong nakikita? Sabi nila, yes, they're actually the biggest building material company in the ASEAN region. So that's why ang dami-dami kong nakikita when they were in Thailand kasi yun yung home base nila. And they are cement and concrete experts. And they just started to come into the Philippines, which is good for us because andami nilang mga range of products. For example, this is their Smartwood Modena series. Again, they are cement and concrete experts, so this is made from fiber cement. And ang ganda sana if we knew about this when we were building this home because mahilig kami sa mga ganitong trellis type of design. And this is perfect because it's moisture resistant, it's thermite proof, and it can be painted on. But sa ganda ng finish nito, Feeling ko, we could have played around with this design na bare lang talaga siya. This is their Smartwood Modena series. So being concrete experts, SCG also produce concrete roof tiles. But they do something differently than most of what we see in the market. This has a double coating layer, meaning yung pigments ng color nila are embedded into a layer sa concrete that makes it resistant to peeling, and it becomes low maintenance. They also have different designs and different styles. And the good thing about concrete roof tiles is that they also help with insulation. So that's it, that's SCG. This is just a small example of the products that they carry. They actually have a lot, lot more. So I'll put links in the description below for their shop online. This next step is often taken for granted, but it makes a big difference. And that is to seal off your rooms. Firstly, close off doors and windows. Siempre, obviously. And even those that lead to our bathroom or adjacent rooms. We want the room to be as small as possible. But if you want to take ceiling off the room to the next level, this gasket right here is a perfect example of what we use to seal the room even more. And this really, really helps from keeping the cold air in and keeping the hot air out. And you can buy this online. I'll put links down below. And daming versions nito. Meron tong dito for the door and the door stopper. This has the added benefit of making the door close with a thud sound instead of like a slam. Nas nas soften lang ng konte. And meron pang mga versions na sa baba ng mga doors or even mga windows. May foam version, may rubber version, may versions that help keep the rain out or the pests away. But essentially, whatever it is that you can seal your doors and windows off, it will help you. I'll put all the links down below. But perhaps the most common inefficiency na nakikita ko dito sa Pilipinas are the gaps from the aircon to the wall. Kadalasan, malaking malaki tong gap na to. This is actually not that bad. And this can easily be fixed by a multi-purpose sealant like this one. This one, they actually inserted a foam to help seal it even more. But 
Paminsan nakikita ko yung sobrang laking gaps ng aircon to the wall or even yung malaking malaking cracks and lumalabas na yung malamig na hangin towards the outside. And that is when you would need something like this. This is the Eco Foam Fill'em Up and you can buy this online, I'll put links down below, or something like it. This is a polyurethane expanding foam and its main purpose is to fill gaps. Whether those gaps are huge cracks on your walls or may mga butas na yun nakikita or yung mga gaps around the aircon na masyadong malaki. So all you need to do to use this is very, very easy. You shake this for about two minutes. You moisten the area. Let's say for example, this is the gap that you're trying to fill. So you moisten it up and you simply spray into the gap and nag-expand siya up to I think 50 or 60 percent. So check this out. All right, super awesome, diba? Right? It's still growing a little bit and we're gonna wait for this to harden up. It takes about an hour. The beauty of this is that you can cut it with a knife or a cutter and you can paint over it as if nothing happened. So this is a very, very effective solution when you're trying to seal in a room, especially those with large gaps. That's the EcoFoam fill em up. I'll put a link down below. Okay, this last hack is not the booby mat of my wife. This is actually concerning having electric fans running alongside air conditioners. If you want to save electricity on your air conditioner, you can turn it down and supplement it with an electric fan. And that would help cool the air in your room more efficiently. This is also very, very helpful if you feel like underpowered yung aircon nyo sa bahay. This really helps a lot. This is the Vornado. This pushes a lot of air compared to a normal electric fan, but any fan will work. I'll put a link to this down below because we're super happy with this one. I can see them outside playing. <laughs> okay, now it's time for me to play with my, my wife and kid. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to hit like and subscribe, guys. Yay! Slide! One, two, three.